Matt, take us back. Describe to us where you were. You were waiting for your brother. He's running in the marathon. You said he still had about 45 minutes to go. Tell us again, what was your vantage point? And describe the scene right before and right after you heard these explosions. Sure. I was on Boylston Avenue, which is the main thoroughfare in Boston. It's where the runners are making their final mile towards the finish line. It's packed with runners down the middle of the street, and it's packed with spectators on both sides. Uh, about 30 minutes ago at this point, I guess, there was a big explosion about 100 yards towards the finish line from where I was standing. It wasn't in the middle of the street. It was off to the side of the street, perhaps on the sidewalk or a parking lot. I'm not entirely sure. I saw, heard a big boom, saw a giant plume of smoke. And then about 10 seconds later, uh, about 30 yards from me, or even 20 yards across the street, another big explosion, didn't seem as big as the first one, went off on the sidewalk. And that's when everyone started to scramble. There's a mad push for people to get away from the scene, not knowing if there are more explosions to come. Uh, but it seems like those are the last ones that I saw. Uh, about moments later, they stopped the running of the marathon, so they stopped the race, uh, and they started clearing out the area. And ambulances and EMTs have swarmed in. What were people saying, Matt? The folks who were there for the um, uh, who, who were there to you. watch. Uh, people were saying uh, they were scared. I mean, I know we got sort of shoved into a building, uh, and there were people who were freaking out inside the building, saying they weren't sure if something was going to happen inside the building, if that was a safer place to be. Uh, but soon enough, everyone sort of went onto the sidewalk and found their way off of Boylston Avenue, uh, and the cops sort of rushed everyone away from the scene.